Hello and welcome to my winter camping trip report. If you haven't seen the three part winter hiking and camping trip across the Cairngorms, I suggest you go and watch that now before continuing to watch this trip report. I started planning my trip using Google Earth, Bing Maps and OS. I planned a route with the chance of summoning Bhagavad Madhuri, an escape route if things go wrong, and I added shelter stone to one of the places I can stay the night. Armed with the map and a hiking pole, I was ready, but what else did I take? A good sleeping bag, a strong tent, warm clothes like thermals and a down jacket, reliable waterproofs, food for four days, a sturdy pair of hiking boots and spare socks, a survival blanket just in case, and crampons for icy terrain. The risks would be a sudden change in weather, Heavy rain would be a higher chance of me getting wet. Heavy snow, I get snowed in. The temperature drops suddenly and I get very cold and risk hypothermia. The length of the hike would be roughly 36 miles, with a total ascent of 5,980 feet and a total descent of 5,574 feet. Max elevation, 3,747 feet, minimal elevation. 692 feet. Day 1, 14 miles, Aviemore to Glenmore. Long hike through the woodlands till Glenmore Lock reveals itself, then up the valley by the blue green lock and onto the first night camping. A blister underneath my big toe had formed by the end of the first day, which is a bit annoying. I also didn't sleep much the first night as the wind picked up during the night and kept waking me up. Day 2, 6 miles. Early rise. It was a wet day with some tricky terrain to cover. Slowed and controlled movement on the hike so I didn't get my clothes damp with sweat and create the risk of getting hypothermia that evening. Even though I had a good pair of hiking boots, my feet would still get damp from the amount of water on the trail. I would take my merino socks and change them about midday to keep my feet feeling fresh and dry. I arrived to Shelterstone around about 4 o'clock. The stone shelter was damp inside and not totally windproof. With some fire starters I had and some small twigs that were found around the shelter, I had a small fire going for about 5 minutes. I wore all my clothes but I could still feel the cold other than when I was deep down inside my sleeping bag. It was a cold, long and restless night. Day 3, 16 miles. Set out early as I knew I had a long day ahead. The weather was cold and wet and my eye was itchy. I gave Ben McDewey a miss due to the wet weather so I headed down to the Hutchinson hut. A long valley ahead to get to Mar Lodge and the Bob Scott's Boffy, where I stopped to have a coffee. I decided then to try and hike out on that day. I was absolutely knackered when I got to the bus stop in Braemar. I woke up the next morning to this. Some antihistamines and about a week later my face is now back to normal. We still don't really know what was the cause of my eye swelling up. I presume it was some sort of bug bite. It was a good trip even though the weather was a bit damp. It was good to take on a bit of a challenge and sleeping under shelter stone was an experience for sure. I was hoping for more snow on top of the mountains but I guess I was a little bit early this year. All in all I had a great time of entering across the Scottish mountains during winter. There's plenty more hiking and camping trips planned for the year so stay tuned for that. If you want to support the channel and see more adventurous travel, why not check out the Stone Age merch store? I'll put the link in the description. So that's it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.